Hello there students, welcome back to this video series. This is your instructor Dhruvi Bhatt talking about one more type of return communication that is business letters. Ma'am, in this era of digital communication, are you teaching us to write a letter? Come on, who communicates using a letter? Students, you would be astonished to know many of the government workings take place using letters till now, till date. Even business letters have huge, huge significance in the formal organizations. All types of communication take place using letters. Also, once you learn how to write a letter, it would be easy for you to follow these same steps and sequences in your emails. So, emails are nothing but a digital form of a business letter. Any type of business communication would be smoothened out using a business letter. It is well said that letter writing is the only device for combining solitude with good company. As personal letters strengthen personal relationships, business letters strengthen business relationships. So, letters have huge significance if you consider businesses. Letters are written for many different purposes in the business world and in the formal organizations. These letters actually make life and communication quite easy. Letter writing still has its stay instead of direct calling or a video call. In business worlds, at least it is there. Because return communication is more trustworthy than the oral ones. Business letters are really very important. Let us see some of the purposes for which they are used these days. First and foremost to order. If you want to order some particular item in specific quantity from your supplier, then you can use a letter. Secondly, you can use it to inform. It is useful as a source of information. You can send a letter inform something to your counterparts, to some business associate or anyone. Thirdly, to complain. Yes, complaints would be possible using the business letter to inquire about different things. You can use letters. To request about a particular thing, you can use business letters. To apply for a job, you can use business letters. To congratulate someone on their new house, on their new office, you can use letters. To sell something, a product, a service or a scheme, you can use letters. To collect dues, okay, the long term dues, you can use business letters. Also, to make an adjustment, you can use letters. These are very different purposes and these purposes are never ending for which you can use business letters and they can be a very effective source of communication for all these purposes which I have just listed. Moving forward, let us try to understand the structure of this business letter. I would explain you the structure with the help of this example. This is a business letter. The basic structure of business letters ideally consists of two major parts. First of which, is standard elements. We would first be understanding all the standard elements which are mandatory in any type of business letter. After that, we would look upon other elements which are optional. You might or might not include those in your letters. It is totally fine. But standard elements, please remember, are compulsory. Let us see each of these standard elements in detail. Starting with Firstly, the heading of the business letters. Each and every business letter must start with a heading or a letterhead, which includes the name of the company along with the address of the company who is writing the letter. So here, the heading consists of name and address of the sender. 
If you do not have this proper letterhead, you can just simply write the name of the sender followed by the address of the sender. That would be enough. Moving on towards the second element. The second element which should be mentioned after the sender address is date. You must mention date in the specific format here. Do not simply write 15 slash 1 slash 2020. That's wrong. Mention, mention the date as it is mentioned here as January 12, 2015. Do not write it as 12 dash 1 dash 2015. Or you can write as 12th of January 2015. Right. So maintain proper format of date while you are writing it. The third thing which should be there inside the letter is inside address. This contains the address of the receiver. The person who is going to receive your letter along with the name. Name is optional. You might or might not write the name of the receiver. It would be better if you mention the name. After that you would mention the address of the receiver of this letter. What is the next element? Let us see. Our next element is salutation. You would refer to the receiver of the letter. Dear Mr. X, Dear Mr. Y, if you already know the name. If you do not know the particular person, you can write to whomsoever it may concern. If you do not want to give the letter to a specific person, then you can write as to marketing department of XYZ corporation etc. But if you do not know then too you need to mention a salutation line. After the salutation line obviously our next element would be your message. This is the heart of your letter. What exactly you want to write inside the letter would be written in this part. Here you would mention your message to the receiver. What next? Writing the message does not complete your task. You need to give out a complimentary close. Sincerely, regards or yours truly whatsoever. You will mention a single letter complimentary close which will showcase that this here is where your letter is completed and as you can see there is a blank line between the message and the complimentary close. Please follow the structure as it is there inside this business letter. The exact spaces, the exact sequence of each and every element. It should be very properly written. Lastly, you would be having the signature block. In the signature block, you would mention the name of the person who has returned the letter along with its designation and signature as the name suggests. Okay. This would signify that who, who is writing the letter to whom. Okay, that was all about the standard elements. Let us move forward and see what are the additional elements. As the name suggests, these are additional elements. So, they are optional in nature. You may or may not add them. It is totally up to you and totally up to the requirement of the time. Let's move forward and see that what are these additional elements. But students do not miss the sequence in any way. That is why I am explaining this letter along with an example so that the sequence is very much known to you very properly. Follow the sequence of all the standard elements and additional elements and follow spaces, the single lines, the gaps of single lines as they come in the letter. Okay. Talking about the additional elements, our first additional element is mailing notation. How you are sending this particular letter? By hand, by speed post, by mail or whatsoever is the mailing notation. How this letter is sent to the receiver? You can mention here. As you can see here, here it is written by speed post. You can also write the address notation. Address notation signifies that whether this this letter is personal, confidential or it is meant for a specific person. Whatever is the type of letter, whether it is personal, impersonal, confidential, non-confidential, it will be returned here very clearly. So that if it is written on the letter that it is a confidential letter, no one except 
the receiver to whom the letter is named except that person no one else would open so mention the address in notation here one more thing which is an additional element is attention line if you are not mentioning the name of the receiver in your inside address you can draw special attention of different persons using this attention line like like here we have written attention to mr rohan kumar who is the in charge of supply of water so you if you want that a specific person draws attention towards this letter so that quick action in reply to this letter is taken you will use attention line it is not required if you are writing it to the single person as the receiver is the person who, who will already be having the attention isn't it but if you are sending it to entire water supply department then you can mention the name of the head that mr rohan kumar please see to it that this request gets seen to very soon moving forward our next additional element is subject line this is a quick summary mostly only a single line which signifies that what for this letter is returned why this particular letter is returned and what is the reason that this letter is forwarded okay for example here the letter is returned as there was no water supply on the particular date so the receiver can get to know that what would be there inside the body or context of the letter just by a quick glance on the subject line it is one of the important element but it can be skipped in some of the cases if your letter is too short maybe one or two lines then you need not spare time for writing the subject line it's okay it is not a compulsory or standard element but adding a subject line is beneficial moving forward towards the next element which is an additional element is reference initials many a times more than one person can collaborate in writing the letter one of them might be dictating second one might be writing if such is the case initials of both the persons might be written as if there are two persons involved you will write as dbb/rk or gif/bc whatever the initials of both the persons are but if there is only single person who has written and drafted this letter the reference initials of only a single person are enough like gk directly it it shows that only a single person has written this particular letter our next additional element is enclosure line if there are any what are the enclosures along with this letter if i am sending say a set of my mark sheets then i will mention here that i have enclosed mark sheets of 12 standard 10 standard mark sheet of engineering whatever okay next thing can be copy line here you would mention that whom you are sending the copies of these particular message like here you are sending the copy to chairman and also to water board it is just like cc which we use in our mails okay it is like carbon copy we are sending the same copy to these persons too you would mention it in the letter last but not the least you can conclude the letter with a postscript okay at least you would have heard the word ps ps is the short form for postscript here you will write something which is not mandatory in the message of your letter but it is just an afterthought it nowhere gets included in the message but it is an afterthought for whatever message you are trying to send okay so you can write a postscript it is entirely not necessary but if you have something to tell at last that if you want an urgent uh, if you want an urgent action or whatsoever like that then you can mention it in the postscript okay that was all about the structure of business letter let us move forward and try to see that what are different layouts of business letters business letters basically have two layouts block layout also known as complete block layout and 
and modified block layout. There is just a little bit of difference between both these types of layout. Let us try to understand each of these layouts with the help of an example. The only difference between both the layouts is that in block layout both the sender's address and signature block of the sender whatever is on the sender's end that entire thing sender's address name and the signature block both of them are on the left side of the page while in modified block layout both these things the sender's address and the signature block are on the right side of the page this is the only difference remaining all the elements have same sequence and same order please remember it sequence is very necessary to be remembered okay moving forward let us try to see that what are some principles of letter writing while you are writing a letter and as such even if you are writing a mail these are some principles which you must take care of first and foremost write with the you attitude when you are writing to someone give more importance to the receiver than to yourself use sentences like in reference to your letter i want to inform you this thing you had complained us about the problem in this product do not write it as we have received a complaint about this product try to make the letter more personal where this the receiver of the letter might feel by reading your letter that he or she is important moving on to the second principle be very clear and concise conciseness means make sure that you stay to the point do not go very wayward i apologize to inform you that the product you requested for is right now out of stock it will be restocked up after maybe 15 days we apologize for the problem we apologize for the delay instead of that be concise the requested product is out of stock that's it it would be more clear and concise secondly do not over promise do not tell that we would deliver after 15 days who knows that whether or not you would be able to deliver after 15 days or not do not make any promises whatsoever you write in the letter be short be curt and be concise thirdly be correct and complete conciseness doesn't mean incompleteness you need to be concise but you need to be complete how you would feel if lj writes you a letter that send fees immediately without mentioning the fees without mentioning the last date for filling out the fees if you do not know anything obviously you would feel irritated reading this letter when you are sending someone a letter make sure that it is a complete letter and has all the required details do not send incomplete and incorrect letters mention a perfect date that we are expecting to receive the payment on 20th of november 2020 mention the precise words like we are amongst the top 2000 companies of india do not use vague language like we are amongst the topmost companies in india mention numbers mention correct numbers mention correct numbers it would be more impactful moving onwards emphasize the positives do not be too negative do not use words like no not never etc instead try using positive language instead of writing that we cannot repair your vehicle until two more days right we will repair your vehicle by thursday we cannot complete the requested order right now because we do not have enough staff right when we would be having enough staff your order would be completed and sent to you promptly make sure that you emphasize the positive instead of too many negatives moving onwards be courteous and considerate how would you feel if someone writes you a letter 
from a, from an organization in which you applied that you are rejected you couldn't make to the next round you are totally rejected instead of that show some courtesy and considerateness that we are sorry to inform you that we couldn't push you to the next round of interview you are a very bright candidate we would look upon to any other opportunities which come in future with us and we will send it to you that is better right try to be courteous and considerate do not be rude in your letters okay whoever the receiver is even if the receiver is at fault try to be courteous try to make sure that you understand the receiver even if it is a complaint letter do not be very rude that you did not fulfill my order your company is worst your organization is worst we didn't expect this from you do not use such words try to complain in a way that we can understand that it would be unintentional from your end that but we had this problem in our consignment try to be as courteous and considerate as possible because you too can be at that place moving forward let us try to see that what are different types of business letters which are written along with some examples first and foremost let me give you an example of a sales letter sales letter as the name suggests is for selling any product at hand it is very important to write a good sales letter because you want to sell your product and earn profits use ida approach attention interest desire action these are the four stages which you should follow while writing a sales letter i'll explain each stage to you in detail with obviously an example first stage is draw attention draw attention of the readers with maybe some quotes as you can see here that you are very beautiful eyes or maybe by trying to praise the receiver or starting with an real life incident or starting with a joke or an anecdote the first paragraph would be to make sure that you grab the attention of the reader only then he or she will read further there are many sales letters sitting in the dustbins trust me the same things happen to sales mails right someone is trying to sell something you get a mail with regards to that what do you do you just send it in the trash right the same thing happens to sales letters until and unless they do not have a good pickup line make sure that your first paragraph completely draws the attention of your readers once you get their attention move forward and try to make sure that you get his or her interest into your product you can do so by describing the features and functions of your product i am trying to sell this product with this features with these functions etc thirdly in the third paragraph you would try to achieve desire of the reader how so you can achieve desire by elaborating how your product is different from others how your product would satisfy need of the reader how your product is very important for the reader how this product will change the lives of the reader try to make sure that in this paragraph you very properly emphasize on the point that why the reader will need your product so diarily last but not the least make sure that reader takes some action how you can do so yes obviously how can you attract a customer sale 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 just mention inside the letter that this is a limited edition again it is on 50% sale it has 50% discount so you need to immediately buy it these are the steps how you will write a sales letter and how you can successfully achieve the sales target
make sure that you write good sales letters the second type of letters are order letters as i already told you these letters are to order something some products or some services from your vendor okay you will mention here the number of things how much you want the quantity the different different types of products which you want if the model number is there also mention the model number the quantity of products and do not forget to mention that up to when you require this order these are the things which would be necessary in an order letter the third type of letter is a complaint letter make sure the complaint letter is very polite do not write impolite complaint letters make sure that you be very polite while writing a complaint letter try to empathize with the person who is receiving the complaint tell the person that it may not be intentional but this is the problem like it is written here it is written here that they are having problem in 65 mattresses which would have spoiled during the shipment of the mattresses mention the exact number of mattresses which have been spoiled also make sure that you mention the date of consignment you also mention the order number of which you are filing a complaint also make sure that you clearly state the adjustment which you require here it is clearly stated that we require the 65 mattresses as soon as possible because we cannot order it from another vendor in in such a short notice that is why make sure what your adjustment is and you want the adjustment by which date in the complaint letter again do not be rude your organization has done a huge blunder or i did not expect this from your organization this was very unfaithful of you do not use such words try to be as polite as possible when you write a complaint letter moving forward in reply to a complaint letter there is an adjustment letter here you can offer an adjustment that as we have received the complaint regarding poor service or regarding spoiled goods or whatsoever the complaint is we are here by providing you an adjustment to make sure that you are happy because you are our loyal customer to make sure that we do not lose such a nice customer we are offering you this particular adjustment this is an adjustment letter next is an inquiry letter this is the type of letter where you inquire about different different things maybe status of your of some application here there is an inquiry of an of an employee who is working in an organization there is a bank who is asking to inquire whether the person is working there and what is his or her salary there can be different types of inquiry letters clearly mention that what are the details which you want as an answer as it is stated here clearly that they want to know the job qualifications the salaries etc clearly mention that what your inquiry is about and all the points of which you want the information as a sender before asking about the information first introduce yourself because otherwise no one would go give an information to the stranger will they so make sure that you introduce yourself make sure that you tell them that why do you require this information and also clearly state that what are different things which you want to know moving forward the next letter is recommendation letter as the name suggests it is used to recommend an employee to the next job write very nice recommendation letters because many people's careers rely on these letters make sure that you mention the role of the person whom you are recommending in your organization also you mention that what are specific traits of this person also state that how this person would be helpful to their organization okay write good recommendation letters it is very necessary 
Next is an appreciation letter. Appreciation letter as the name suggests is to appreciate or thank a person for his or her gesture, his or her kind gesture. Open the letter nicely. Mention what good the person did. Also dwell into details about whatever the conversation you had when you met them. Okay. Also mention that why do you appreciate it and how this particular thing is of great importance to you. And close with a complimentary close as always. Moving forward, an apology letter. Be sure that the apology seems heartfelt. Do not write the letter for the sake of writing. In an apology letter, mention that what First, the reason due to which this particular event occurred, due to which you couldn't provide a good service or due to which you couldn't protect, protect some goods, due to which you failed to complete your promises, due to which you failed to complete your project on the given deadline. Mention the reason that why this thing happened. Secondly, Offer apology and along with that, it would be better if you offer an adjustment. We are apologistic for the poor service and we offer you two nights free stay. Offer some adjustment and the receiver would very happily accept it. And he would be a loyal customer to you too. Our next letter is acknowledgement letter. This letter is in reply to some letter. I have received your email or I have received your letter. I have received your resume for the said job position, etc. These are acknowledgement letters. Clearly state what are the documents which you received and when are you intending to process them. If date is available with you, kindly state the date that we have your documents. We would process them on this particular date. Or you can write we would process them shortly or you could write that we would take time in processing these documents expect to hear from us in two or three months okay but clearly state some tentative idea of time of when the processing would be done moving onwards our next letter is cover letter generally cover letters are written before the resumes Make sure that you mention very properly that why you want to be the part of the organization in the cover letter. Okay, you will start with the general elements that is inside address or salutations, whatever. But in the main text of the body, firstly, state clearly why do you want to be the part of the organization to which you are applying, which traits you have with which you would be a suitable candidate for the organization. Secondly, mention what all you have done in your previous organization. What roles and responsibilities you properly handled. You can also mention your academic career and academic scores here. You will also mention that how these particular scores would help you to become a good job candidate in the said organization. Also mention that how passionate you are to join this particular organization. Mention all these things in the cover letter very properly so that the organizations would see through your resume. Do not forget our complimentary close and the signature block. That was all about letters students. Happy writing. Keep writing letters. In this era of mails, a heartfelt letter is all you need. Thank, Thank you so much for such patiently listening to me. This is Thruvipat signing off. Until next time. Bye-bye.